day guys welcome back welcome to pouring your heart out and today I'm gonna to pour my heart out with some resin and I'm gonna do four geode shaped coasters so this is my own design this one these are eight millimeters deep which is quarter of an inch um, it's just a nice thickness I think I don't like res um, coasters to be too thick I just I think because they're you know supposed to look like agate slices they should be sort of thin and delicate so that's what I'm using today these have also got the rock edge on the inside it's, so it's not just smooth so it looks more like real rock uh, these are in my eBay store if you want to have a look um, the link is in the description right moving on I am gonna go for a teal and gold today hopefully with some clear or transparency in the center that's what I'm hoping for and I'm only going to do it in one layer today so I'm not using gold flakes so I don't really need to do the two layers which I need to do when I do the gold leaf flakes so first of all I'm going to start with some dark teal around the outside this one is called Aurora blue in green and it's by pixie dust pigments so we'll get some of that out and I'm going to do two scoops of that. <clears throat> I'll put it there so you can see the color. And then I want to make it a little bit darker. So I'm going to use this. It's a pigment paste. It's called Appetite Blue. But it looks more of a, it's, uh, I think it looks sort of more of a bluey green, really. Let's just take a little bit of that. It's a bit hard. Just a little oh. I don't want much I'm just gonna take a tiny bit and we'll see I can always add more um, if these go hard just put the lid on and put them in a, a hot water bath and they'll melt down again so let's put in let's do probably a third of a cup and that can be my clear over there my first cup of clear anyway the resin I'm using today is the one that I've been using a lot lately it's called uh, platinum ultra clear it's only heat resistant to 67 degrees Celsius though I have ordered another one it's called platinum super clear and that you can take to 80 degrees Celsius so I think if you're having a coffee or a tea and by the time you've put your milk in it or a splash of cold water hopefully it's um, not going to be too hot it's going to be you know no more than 80 degrees we'll see I'll have to test it out but uh, yeah that that's I guess that'll arrive in the next few days okay that's not quite dark enough let's add a little bit more of this I don't even know if it's mixing in or whether it's just sort of clumping down the bottom it might just be clumping down the bottom the um, Aurora it has like a um, like an iridescent or a color shift something like that so it has this sort of goldy look on top not goldy locks goldy look <laughs> so um, yeah it, it's really pretty and I think that will go really nicely with the gold sparkle that I'm going to use you can see on the inside of the cup it looks more blue and then on there it looks more of a greenish goldish color so see how that goes hopefully that's mixed in all right um, I may add more pigment paste to it later we'll see now the next one I'm going to do is just some alcohol ink this one is teal by pinata and we'll do half a cup of resin for this one and I don't want a lot of color as I said I want quite transparent center so we'll just do two drops of the teal that's that one so it's not going to change the color a lot and it always looks more blue in the cup look at that if you look at the side of the cup it does look more blue but hopefully hopefully it's teal it says teal <laughs> But it does like to get stuck to the side of the cup so you just have to kind of scrape the color off the side of the cup like that so there we go nice and transparent 
the next one is also by Pixie Dust. This one is called Aurora Tiffany Blue. So when it says Aurora, it has that sort of color shift in it. And I think this one will be really pretty with the gold as well. So... Um, let's just do one and see what that looks like. So I don't want that much color in the center. And half a cup of resin. I've only got two days left of my holidays and then I have to go back to work. It's so sad. I've had three weeks holiday over Christmas, New Year. It's been great. I've been really enjoyed it. I've painted every day or resined. I've made slime. Played with my puppies. Had the family over for Christmas. And it's been a lovely three weeks. But it does have to come back to an end. And I have to go back to work. In two days. So today and tomorrow I have off and then back to work. Now this, I know I need to stir this really, really well because I don't want to get any little bits of mica powder sinking to the bottom. And if you're planning on having a clear centre, make sure you don't have any bits of mica that have sunk to the bottom because that will spoil your look. So stir it really well. Maybe come back to it a bit later and stir it then as well. I've dripped. Right, now this one is going to be my gold sparkle. You've seen me use the silver or the white sparkle a lot. This is the gold super sparkle by Color Passion. Really pretty. Um, because it's a glitter, it does sink to the bottom. Just one scoop. It's very fly, flighty. Flies away really easily, so... I don't know if you can see it <laughs> sparkling on my glove. It just it gets everywhere, so you've got to be careful. Um, and then we'll go half a cup with that one. And then I've still got some clear left. So just a little bit of sparkle in the center. And as I said, it, it will sink. Um, but that's okay. I just want a little hint of gold in the middle. I don't mind if it sort of sinks and mixes in with the other colors. I think it'll give a really pretty overall sparkly effect. See it's very, it really takes over so one scoop goes a long way. I may actually add a little bit more clear to that. Or you didn't need such a big scoop. Alrighty, are we ready? Ready spaghetti. Where's my bit of tape? something in there. I have cleaned these out already with tape but bits fly in there all the time don't they? All right now how's this looking? Mm, I'm going to add a little bit more. I just want the outside to be quite dark. I'm just going to clean the top of that because I've got resin on the top. I should use a clean a clean stick, shouldn't I? That's right, I just wiped the top with the paper towel. Got that little bit of resin off that I just stuck in there. Hopefully this is going to be enough. I only want a little tiny bit for the outside. So if you're not very good at pouring, maybe you can pour this into a little piping bag and pipe around. But I'm going to see if I can just do it really gently. Move all these out of the way so I don't knock anything over. Make sure all that pigment's off your stick. Hopefully it's all mixed in. As I said, it was a bit thick and, and gloopy, so when it's nice and thin and creamy, it, it does mix in better. But let's just hope for the best. Here we go. And I'll just pour a little... Then stream in. Concentrating. <laughs> Actually, I'll use this so I can catch the drip with a piece of paper towel rather than my glove. Otherwise, I end up getting sticky resin hands, and that's no fun for anybody. 
especially if then you wipe a piece of hair out of your face or something or and then you get resin on your face uh, not a good idea all right uh, I think I'll leave it at that just because I've got more doesn't mean I need to use it as I said I only want a little bit around the outside so let's just push that in to our little edges there oops try not to get it onto the side up the top push it in down the into those little corners like so and then I'm going to do um Puddles. Oh, I think you're done, aren't you? Yep, you're done. You did that all by yourself. Good on you. Alrighty. Need a little bit more on the just there. Okay, so there's still a bit left. That's that's okay. I'd rather have a bit left over than um, you know, put too much in. What's going on over here? Right. Now the next one I want to do is my alcohol ink. Uh, I think that will give me some really pretty effects against that um, mica. Just walking around making sure I'm still taping. <laughs> All right, so a puddle of ink. So once you think you've got it equal, just Add a little bit more, use it all up, make sure they're all kind of equal-ish. I guess I could have just actually poured a ring around it because I do want it to, to touch before I do the next layer. I should have done that. I should have just poured a ring around it, around the inside of um, the mica. Because I want the ink to touch evenly all the way around, like so. All right, can you guys remind me to do that next time, please? When I'm using, only when I'm using the alcohol ink, though. I just like it to all react at the same time and give you the equal kind of design is what I'm trying to say because if I put another color in over the top and it touched the outside first without the ink touching um, then I might get a different look in in one area and I want it all to be symmetrical instead of asymmetrical. So once I've done this, I'll do a puddle with my next color, which is the Tiffany blue. It's kind of a greeny blue, isn't it? All right, there we go. That's done. Let me torch, oh my torch, my torch, my torch is in the other room. I'm gonna to have to go and get it. Hang on. I was making silicon molds yesterday for orders because I make them to order. And uh, I use my torch to pop bubbles on the um, silicon mold. So sometimes it's out there and sometimes it's in here. That's an air bubble. A little bubble that I popped made that little white hole. It's going to disguise it. All right, so the next thing I want to do is this Tiffany blue. All right, so same thing as before. Puddle in the middle. Paper towel. Mm. 
Okay. Um, do I want any more? Do I want any more? That one looks as if it's got a bit more than the others. Again, just because you've got it doesn't mean you have to use it all. Um, I want to keep it relatively transparent in the center so I'm not going to go with any more color and I'm going to try and like torch each level each layer rather than leaving it till it's too thick because then I can't get the bubbles that are in the middle now this is a lot of gold I probably don't need all this what can I do with it actually you know what I oh somebody said to me one of my YouTube viewers they said why don't you do the hearts and then like give them away and I thought oh, that's a brilliant idea I don't know how like who I decide to give them away to but that's that's still it's a thought I can still do that can't I a little bit of clear I don't know maybe the people that um, send me a donation which I really appreciate maybe I can send them back a little thank you maybe depends how much shipping would be all right anyway we'll do something with the hearts now some gold in the center and I think I've got too much gold okay there's my gold still got some of that left I'll put a little tiny bit of this dark around again just a tiny bit I think I can get away with a little bit more hopefully it's the right decision I don't want to waste it I didn't use very much at all did I So on the top of this now goes the clear to push everything out and then when it comes back into the center it'll make those gorgeous patterns and I might put some more gold in afterwards. Right here we go with the clear like that, like that, see quite a lot of clear towards the end. almost takes it up to the top the clear does but then when it all pulls back in we should get a really pretty effect all right let's torch again like you see lots of bubbles okay now i'm going to do a little bit more gold because I want a, a gold center like so and you can have a little bit too all right how's that looking that looking pretty oh look it's gonna be transparent now the the color on the outside it pulls in like at different levels so you can see that one's pulled in further but just leave it we'll just wait and see what happens it will all come in a little bit now a tiny bit of clear just to break up that gold ever so slightly there we go alrighty Torch again. I wonder what it's going to look like. I wonder. I wonder. See now here we've got a slight little transparent center uh, with the gold around it. Mm, I still don't know if I want any more gold. I'm going to bring you down for a close up. Let me get my gloves off. Hang on one sec. Now, as usual, my teal always looks blue. 
So what you're seeing is not correct. But we're getting some striations happening along the edges. Early days yet, it'll keep changing for the next half an hour or so. Uh, I will correct the colour on my photo and hopefully when I take my little short video outside in the sun you'll be able to see the true colour. But for some reason, um, my camera, I don't know if it's everyone's camera, but my camera makes teal look blue. So there they are. Oh, look at the little heart. It's getting some really pretty striations too. Oh, there's a bubble. Oh, I'll have to go and pop that. All right, I'll give it a quick torch and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the grand unmolding. Hope you enjoyed that. Hey guys, welcome back. It's the next day and they still look blue through the screen. Oh, I wish they wouldn't. I wish you could see the turquoise, the teal. Anyway, let's get them out. So I didn't fill these all the way to the top. So I have got a little lip there. Now it's up to you if you want to file that or whether you want to have like a little area where, you know, your glass can maybe not just slide right off. Oh look, look how pretty they are. Oh, I wish you could see the true colour though. Oh, never mind. Look, we've got the gold sparkle in the centre. Now with the paste, I want to show you the difference between a paste and a mica. Hang on one sec. Just put that canvas there so that you can see properly. Now, if you have a look at these striations, they're not straight. They're not straight striations. They're kind of wriggly with blobs. I don't know how to explain it. Whenever I use um, paste, pigment paste around the edge, I get those types of striations. Now the difference when I don't use a paste and I only use a mica powder, I don't know if you can see the difference, but hopefully you can. It's just, it's more, my hands are reflecting in there, it's more just straight striations. I don't know, they're just, it's just different. Now, when I did this one, my camera shut off halfway through. So I showed you, I might even put the video up, I don't know. And then I thought I better do another one and show you how to do it. So then I did this one. Which do you prefer? Do you have a preference? This one's much more transparent. I don't think I put as much of the second colour in the middle. But anyway, there's, there's those two. Just wanted to show you the difference. Still really gorgeous nonetheless. Oh, we should have a look at the back, shouldn't we? Ooh. Ooh, it's sparkly. Look at that. So there's our ring of colour, which is green but looks blue through the camera. Wow, that's really pretty. Sparkly. I guess you could do either. I do like the back of that one. I don't usually like the backs at all, but I do on that one. Alright, let's get them all out. All very, very similar because I poured them exactly the same way. And the last little one. And you, look at you, you're jumping out already. You're just so excited to be out, aren't you? I'll get to you in a minute. What's the back of these ones look like? I didn't do the unmolding video on these because I thought, oh, yeah, this, that's just a big blob. This one had a lot more gold in it. I didn't do the unmolding video because I thought, oh, there's really not much to show you. I showed you how I mixed the ingredients, did one ring, and then it stopped, and then I just sort of explained what I did. So I don't know whether anyone wants to see that video or not. But um, here's the little heart. It's got the little clear center in the middle there. A bit of gold bling on the back. 
Right, so that's those. Um, I'm going to, I will sand a little bit with my nail file. And then I'm going to paint the edges in a gold, the decor premium gold. It's my favorite. Um, and because I've got the rock edges, which is kind of already, you know, scuffed up, um, I only need one coat of gold. <laughs> kind of show you close up. All right, so I'm going to do those and um, I'll set them up outside for you. So thanks for watching. Really appreciate everyone's love and support and comments. Keep them coming and I'll see you real soon for the next video. Bye for now. I just thought um, I'd show you my process with this last coaster. So I'm going to just press on there like that to get the ink to come down, go around all the way. Pretty easy to do, doesn't take a rocket scientist to do it. Just colour it in all the way, I did, I've done those other ones, I did my little heart. Can you see the little rock edges there, how it's not smooth edges. I just think they look so much nicer when you're going to go the trouble of making a geode coaster. You know, why not make it look like it's real rock, hey? So that's it there. I won't do the whole thing because it'll take me a little bit of time, but then all you need to do is just put your nib of the pen half on the coaster, half off the coaster, and then you just follow it around like that. I like this. This is my favourite part. <laughs> Whee! Round we go. If you do make a mistake and your pen goes over the top of your coaster, you can wipe it off straight away. If it's on there for more than a second or two, you'll need to get your nail polish remover out, your acetone, and clean it with that. But just be really careful. If your resin hasn't set up and it's not hard yet, the acetone might leave a mark on the top. So you've got to be really careful of that. Maybe test your um, test your resin first, like on a, a spare scrap piece, before you go um, putting acetone on the top there, just in case it marks. So anyway, that's them. I'll finish that one shortly. And there they are. Aren't they gorgeous? I love them. I'll set them up outside now for a, a photo in the sun. See ya!